Kyoto, 1997. The Earth is threatened by pollution, global warming, and the depletion of natural resources. Over 180 nations meet for the first time, looking for a solution, which, at some point, appears. It's him! Only he can save the world. Only he can defeat carbon dioxide, protect nature, and bridge the gap between the rich and the poor, all in one shot. His name is... Carbon Credit, the first superhero who smokes. Like it? It was made in Japan. Carbon Credit. I'll tell you how to play with it, okay? Just let me read the instructions first. Now, shoot, they're in Japanese. Well, never mind. We'll just need to look at the pictures. I'll show you. Every country is allowed a set amount of carbon, CO2, and other greenhouse gas emissions. If a country should exceed this limit, it'll have to buy allowances from other countries to offset global pollution. All clear so far? Are you with me? Now, how can we make big multinational corporations avoid paying? How can we make it worthwhile for them, too? This is a job for... Carbon Credit, the only superhero who smokes. Real genius is at work here. I know, I know, new outfits, cigarettes. There are some costs involved, sure. Don't worry, in time, the market will fix it all and eventually it will turn out to be a really good deal. So, are you a multinational corporation? Are your plants releasing too much carbon dioxide? No problem, pal. Work it out. Just buy carbon credit and you can keep up the bad work with the blessing of the international community. Ever heard of the three-card Monty trick? Keep your eye on pollution. Now, build three dams in Latin America, and with the carbon credits earned, you build a coal-fired power station in Calabria. Where is pollution? I'll do it again. Three dams are worth 10 million carbon credits, just like the emissions released by the coal plant. Where is pollution? You might not have noticed, but... The first layer of dirt is obvious. That's the coal-fired plant in Calabria, which was built only thanks to carbon credit. The second layer is the true revolution. Three pretty dams in Latin America, which only served to get carbon credits and which caused damage to the environment, like all environmental eyesores. Democracy, as it boosts corruption. Local peoples, who have suffered mass displacement. Not bad, hey? They call them flexible mechanisms, or even green economy, or as you like it. Do you want to try and make a name up yourself? It just has to sound good and boost private profit. Think about it while we move on. You have just built those three famous useless dams. Now, you stop for a second, give them a puzzled look and think, why not? And then, in the blink of an eye, you have built 18 more. There, at last. You were already in there. It was easy peasy. So you get more carbon credit surplus and sell it. But how do you do it? How do you sell them? Just like oil and Manchester United. There you go. The planet's safety is in the hands of Carbon Credit. He knows how to get the most out of the market. Bubbles, tax havens, new financial products, so many twists and turns. Would you like a glass of water? Now, we've come to the last superpower. Maybe this bit's better. There. But it's written in small print. I can't read it. It's broken. It's your fault. Well. How long did you think it would last? All things must pass. Didn't you know that? Come on, don't act like this. Let's try and fix it through state intervention. You see, if the European Investment Bank lends us a hand, we can play with it a little longer. In the meantime, we'll give this one to emerging economies while you buy a new one. Just give it a name, float it on the stock exchange, and make a story up. I'll tell you how. Just lie down and relax. It's getting quite late. <sighs> Waterella, dripping, gushing, and super cool. The super heroine who will give you as much drinking water as you can buy. But 
What's this noise? It's Relief, the one and only who can turn carbon dioxide into oxygen. Hard to believe it's been free so far. Just buy it and you'll make a terrific impression. Then there's... But are you asleep? It works just like a fairy tale. We knew it. Sleep, baby, sleep. Will Carbon Credit and his friends succeed in making Europe waste more precious time before it reverses course while they keep destroying our ecosystem? We certainly hope they won't.